Daniel Callahan wrote in, said this past weekend, my eight year old nephew was over my house and challenged me to a game of Madden. I don't normally play sports <sighs> games, but he talked a big game. So I accepted his challenge. I ended up destroying him. It was a massacre. By the time I scored my fourth touchdown, he was so sad he could have cried. Each subsequent touchdown only further upset him and led to him call, led to him calling me out for being unfair. By the time I got my eighth touchdown, he was dead silent, accepting his defeat. The final score was 56 nothing. Am I an asshole for showing him no mercy? Should I have let him score some points to make him feel better? No. No. You kidding? You said yeah. he challenged you. Now, I'm going to tell you a story about my brother's kid, Graydon. Good kid. Loves video games. Loves old school video games. He also loves chess. I think he's in sixth grade now, seventh grade, something like that. And a few years ago, I went to Dagan's house when we were recording Knockback and before school, he had heard that I had liked chess. I got in really early. And so he like sat down to play me in a game of chess and he was really confident and had a lot of bravado was moving his pieces with real confidence. I fucking destroyed him. I'm not going <laughs> to let this little kid just sit here and and own me in a game of chess thinking he's going to come in here. And I remember it so clearly mating him because he didn't even see it. He tried to move his piece afterwards. And I'm like, no, it's done. It's done. I'm 33 and I beat you, little kid. Don't ever <laughs> challenge me in chess again. And so, Daniel, I think that you've invoked the same spirit that I invoked. And so I feel like there is no shame in taking the kid who challenged you and showing him how to play Madden like a man. Yeah. yeah. Any comments? I, I, I accept that. I think uh, I think generally if someone chat first of all if someone challenges you like there's no reason to to hold back in any way it's like the whole point of a challenge right but i have uh i think there's a word for it um where you pretend to be worse early on and then you uh oh my god what's Ro the like rope a dope is that what it, is that no it's it's um oh god there's like a term that i knew once what but it was sandbagging I, I would, maybe i i, I don't Throwing? think that was it either but it, it was anyway. I would do that a lot with like games that I was specific that I knew that there was very little chance that somebody that I was playing against in person anyway would would be because on, online it's like, uh, of course, you're going to be if there's like any reasonable ranking system in any video game or if if you have the entire litter of the world to choose from. Yeah, you're you're in all likelihood you're going to run into people better than you kind of all the time. But in person, like the limited scope of people that you're you're running with i'm definitely the only person that i know physically corporeally who is as good as cra at crash team racing as i am you know there's not a single person that i know who who can fucking best me at that like at all so when i would challenge people to it or when i would have people like hey come over let's play crash team racing i would lose on purpose a couple times just so they'd be willing to play <laughs> cuz no one wow. cuz no one that knew no one that knew how good I was would would bother playing with me because they were like, you can't. I, I, so it's a hustle. Point. It's a hustle. It's a hustle. Yeah. Hustling. Yeah. I think it's what it is. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Right. Like pool hustling. Dart. Yeah. Hustling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, I guess I just don't know how to get a fucking I guess I just can't play pool. And then you start driving in the wrong direction. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess I can't drive. I guess I'll just go this way on the Taconic instead. Can I can I compliment you on something, Chris? Mm. The use of the word corporeal. I like that oh. word. It's a good one. Yeah. Just wanted to didn't, compliment you on that. Didn't literally make sense in that in that context, but uh, it, it, it got the job done. Sure. I think it does. OK. Uh, Dustin, anything to add about this? Just absolute hammering 56 nothing in this almost NCAA football like score. Yeah, no, I think this is great. I, I've had this situation with uh, little cousins and even Ben's kids have challenged me to Super Smash Brothers on the occasion. And they're actually uh, pretty good. At least one of them. The older one is a little is is decent. He's he's beaten me a few times, but pretty consistently, um, you know, no mercy at all. And that's why he's able to, you know, do well against when he does challenge people is that he has people that actually, you know, break him down, make him better at the game. And so, yeah, yeah no mercy for kids pretty much ever, actually, I think. It, I mean, video games are not no I mercy for children. Yeah, okay. I, I, that is that is what made me want to get good at at shooters when I was young. Was playing with my cousins and they and they would destroy me, and I was like, "How is yeah. this possible? The, like, how, how are they this like?" And, and I was like, "I was I got obsessive about it," and that makes you better. Hmm. 
Maybe not a better person. It probably makes you a worse person, but it definitely makes you better at video games. Yeah, that's yes. all we're talking about. Listen, yeah. you know, that's all we're talking about here is that particular thing. Now, it's worth knowing, Graydon, if you're listening to this, you're probably not. I know your dad sometimes listens to this show, so maybe it's maybe you're in the car together. Maybe you're listening to this. I fucking dare you to challenge me again in chess and see what happens. I will break out the Berlin defense on you. I will break you. Okay. Hmm. Love you. See you soon for Thanksgiving.